Stop everything you're doing. Now. Give yourself this short interlude to your time. Just a few minutes. To connect with how you feel right at this moment. It doesn't matter where you are. Settle and ground yourself. Gather your attention inwards. Allow a brief moment to acknowledge the points in your body which are in contact with the surface. Whether you're sitting on a chair or your feet are pressing against the ground. Explore for a moment what that contact feels like. Receive the physical sensations in both of your feet. Your ankles. And now expand your attention. Let it drift up your legs. To your shins. Your knees. Your thighs, holding both of your legs in awareness now. Let it move up to your pelvis and glutes. lower abdomen. Rising up your torso to your ribs. And then your chest. And as you explore the sensations, note whether your attention draws heat or perhaps a tingling sensation to that region of the body. It doesn't matter whether it does or doesn't. Simply pay attention. Without any need to change what is there or what you feel. There is no right or wrong way to feel. Notice the breath moving in and out of the center of the body. You can place your hands on the ribs or belly if that helps you. Escort your attention to the area of the nape of your neck. Your shoulders.
base of your skull. Your jawline and the hinge of your jaw. Your cheeks. Your eye sockets. Your temples. And ears. The space behind your ears. Your brow. And the top of your skull. Bring your whole body into awareness now. You are not trying to control or change anything. Just feel what it is to be inside your body. And when it feels right, open your eyes to expand your awareness to the space around you. Settle yourself in the space around you. Whether your journey today is on the train, bus or tube, or perhaps you're walking to work today, before your mind races into the tasks of the day ahead, and before you check your emails and messages, allow yourself a few moments to check in with how you feel. with where you are today, on this morning, different from any other, because it is this moment, a moment never to be repeated. Check in with your surroundings, with your environment, Feel the soles of your feet on the floor. Your spine elevated and dignified. A balanced posture. Drink in the sensation of your feet connecting to the earth. The weight of your body pressing down on the ground. Or whatever it is supporting you if you're fortunate enough to have a seat on your commute. You may be sitting in a crowded carriage, unnaturally hunched over by the curved door or the underground, or your shoulders might be awkwardly rubbing against a stranger's. Does it bother you? Make you feel uncomfortable? And if it does, perhaps ask yourself why. Are you able to sit with the feeling and let it be what it is? Notice the smells surrounding you. You may walk past some litter. The smell of a person's perfume or simply the scent of the morning's air. Often we close ourselves off to the smells that surround us, especially when we're forced to be in close proximity with strangers. But just notice the scents in the air 
and do so without judgment or even trying to identify them. Simply note their presence. Perhaps it's noisy around you. The rumble of a train. Many voices overlapping. Announcements via a loudspeaker. Or the blare of a car horn howling. Just notice the sounds. Now take a moment to notice the space around you. What can you see? Really take it in. The colors and shapes. The smaller and the broader movements. The train or bus is maybe rocking you gently or even violently. Are you able to allow your body to move with that rhythmic undulating sway? Or does your body naturally fight against it? This may feel like the most difficult time to meditate. But in fact, it's the best possible time to practice. If we can be mindful in situations over which we have little control, we can be mindful anywhere. Search for calm amidst the hubbub. It's possible your mind may resist intrusive sounds or sights around you. It may feel it's too early in the day for your senses to be overwhelmed, and that's okay. Acknowledge that this is how you feel in this particular moment. Notice it. You don't need to do anything but pay attention. Be curious about your reaction to a thing. Is there anything your eye or ear is drawn to? Anything it resists? Bring your mind back to your body and consider how it's feeling today. Is it heavy with the burdens of previous days? Are your eyes a little sensitive to light? Not ready to be awake yet, perhaps? Is there any lightness or excitement? This may be a repetition of the same journey you take every single day. It's so easy to fall into mindlessness to do something on autopilot with no thought or attention. Oftentimes we may reach our destination and realize we have no recollection of the past 45 minutes we have spent. One day simply bleeds into the next. One moment into another. This is how we lose time. It slips between our fingers and we cannot fathom where it went. When we practice simple awareness to our everyday movements and tasks, we create space within our mind and within our lives. We essentially create time. Your mind can find space, even though physically you may be crushed against a fellow passenger's greatcoat, 
or your diary filled with appointments dawn till dusk. These brief moments of awareness and contemplation will make you time and give you perspective so you can better manage your frantic life. Can you sink deeper into your body? Create a relationship with the sensations within. Take a breath and allow it to wash over you. Feel the space you generate within. Scan down from the top of your head. Soften your brow. And let a sense of space wash over your face and down to your neck. Shoulders. Chest. Down your back. Down each vertebra of the spine. Your belly. Hips. Thighs. Knees. Calves. Ankles. Heels. Across the soles of your feet. To your toes. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Is it short and tight? Or long and easy? Pay attention to the rise and fall of your chest. In. Out. In. Out. There's nothing you need to change. Allow your mind to rest on whatever it needs to rest on. Sounds, smells and sights may jolt you out of the focus of being inside yourself. And that's okay. Take a breath and gently draw your attention back inwards. Back to the steady rhythm of your breath. And back to the physical sensations of the points of contact your body has with the world. your relationship to the surroundings, your place on this planet. And before you arrive at work, just consider, what feeling are you taking into your day today? This is a short breathing exercise, which may seem incredibly simple. But when we're finished, you will feel as though your mind has been through the washing machine. Clear, calm, and ready to connect again with the world. With regular practice, this will build your lung capacity 
boost your physical energy and vitality and improve your concentration and focus. As we focus our attention on what might seem like an unnatural pattern of breathing, so our thinking mind begins to slow and we find access to our more intuitive mind. Sit comfortably with an erect spine. Relax your shoulders, brow, jaw, and belly. Close your eyes. We are going to breathe in through the nose for a count of four. Hold the breath in for four. And release the breath just as smoothly for a count of four. Then hold at the bottom of the breath before repeating from the inhale. Note the quality of your breath. See if you can keep it the same throughout the beginning, the middle, and the end of the breath. It can be helpful to drop the chin as you hold the breath, both at the top and at the bottom, as though locking the wind passage. But if this feels awkward and confuses you, and takes you back into the thinking mind, then don't feel it's essential. Just let it go. You may find that after five or so rounds of breath, your lungs have settled into the pattern and now have the capacity to take the counts up to five or even six. This is your practice, your time. Explore this exercise in a way that feels right for you. I will count for you for the first few rounds. Then you continue at a pace that serves you. Inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four. In for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four. Out for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three. with the moment 
taking in your surroundings. Allow a moment to appreciate the space and balance you have generated, both in your body and in your mind. It's important that you take your time to find a comfortable seat, one in which you can remain for some time. Make any necessary micro-adjustments. You can be leaning against a wall, sitting on a cushion, whatever feels right for you. Close your eyes. We allow a few moments as we enter our mindful practice to arrive into this space. To arrive into our bodies. And to become aware of how our body is feeling today. Every day can be different. We allow time to settle the mind. To become aware of the space around us. To arrive into our practice. And completely let go of the outside world. Our journeys here to this place, right now. Drop your gaze inwards. Become aware of the feelings beneath your skin. Become aware of which parts of your body connect with the outside world. The earth. The chair. The wall. Notice which part of your body is weighing heaviest on a surface. Consciously instruct your body to soften. To let go. Relax the back of your skull. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Let the weight of tension holding in your jaw melt into softness. Relax the throat. Let the tongue drop from the roof of your mouth. The nape of your neck relaxes. them to hang and become heavy. Feel the leaden drape of your arms, your limbs, your pelvis is naturally curved and easy. Your spine naturally, effortlessly held and suspended within space, without effort. Give yourself permission to do nothing. To just be. There 
is nothing to do but breathe. Begin to allow your senses to pick up the sounds surrounding you. First noticing the sounds outside the room. The small sounds. The delicate, intricate sounds that you might perhaps not normally notice. The sounds that create your own personal soundscape. A distant car. The hum of a lawnmower next door. A muffled conversation below. Birds twittering and chattering. And now draw your attention a little closer to the sounds directly surrounding you. The tick of a clock. The soft buzz of electricity traveling through the veins of your home. And finally, the sound of your own breath. Find an ease within your breath. Cultivate a quality of softness, of balance, of calm and stillness. Notice how the breath affects your body and the way you sit. Feel the texture and quality of the breath as it travels through your body. You may feel a cool rush as the inhale moves through your nose, throat, chest, belly. And the warmth of the exhale from the belly through chest, throat and mouth. Take your hands to your lower ribs, wrapped wide with your fingers spread, as though clasping a balloon. Feel the soft expansion of the side and front ribs as you breathe in, and the closing and softening down of the ribs as you breathe out. Once you've found an equal, steady, balanced breath without effort, allow your arms to hang heavy perhaps resting one hand in the other. And as you focus on the flow of breath, steady inhales, lengthy exhales, notice where the mind wants to take you. Notice where it's going. And see if you can avoid engaging in conversation with those thoughts. Again and again, bring your focus back to the breath. In through the nose. and out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out 
through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Nothing to do. We are going to take a few minutes out of our day to simply watch our breath and build a relationship with what it is that keeps us ticking. That steady, rhythmic flow that we depend on completely. Our life force. When you breathe deeply, you increase the supply of oxygen to the brain and your heart rate slows. The resulting sense of calm gives your mind space to remove yourself from the minutiae of the day. That snowballing to-do list, the impending deadlines, and allows you to consider how you feel about situations in your life with a little more perspective. Focusing on your breath enhances body awareness releases deep, hidden tensions and encourages an alertness to the present moment. You create space to think about and acknowledge your inner feelings. And with regular practice, this is a skill that will benefit you in your everyday life and your relationships with others. The experience can be transformative. Connecting with yourself is the first step to connecting with others. Create a daily ritual of checking in with yourself, of tuning in, if only for a couple of minutes. A good place to begin is with the breath. Sit comfortably with an elevated spine. Shoulders stacking over your hips. And draw your skull and shoulders back an inch. Find a balance between an easy and relaxed spine and a tall posture. Dignified and present without too much effort a self-supporting spine. Feel yourself grounded. Have an awareness of the contact of your feet on the floor. Your seat on whatever it is supporting you. Notice the sensation of air on your skin or indeed, any lack of sensation. Bring your whole body into awareness. Now take your gaze inwards. Close your eyes or lower your gaze. Become aware of the sound of your breath. Note its rhythm without any need to control or change it. Let it be what it is. Your mind will flit and wonder. That's okay. The mind is an organic being. go exploring from time to time. Remember that this is not a mistake. There is nothing wrong with the mind's meanderings. It will take us away from the present moment again and again. 
simply note where it's gone. Avoid delving into a conversation with that thought. And escort your attention back to the breath. Simply be aware. You may need to do this again and again. Each in-breath is a new beginning. Each out-breath a letting go and a letting be. A sense of coming home to the body and to the breath. To the air that holds you and connects you to the world around you. Listen to its sound. Feel the air circulating the cavities of the body, the back of the throat, the lungs, the abdomen. Breathe into the back of the lungs. Bring attention to the gentle, steady in and out of the ribs. Expanding and opening on every inhale. Softening and closing in on every exhale. Note the changing sensations in the abdomen as the breath moves through you. Watch its rise and fall. You may notice that by watching the breath, it naturally slows and steadies, perhaps deepens a little. Let it be what it is. You may feel some discomfort arise or intense sensations. This is not unusual and there is no right or wrong way to respond. You have a choice to perhaps shift a little. can choose to remain still. Just have a sense of openness and curiosity to the sensations as you escort your awareness to that place of discomfort. Direct the breath to that region. It can be helpful to picture the journey of the breath as it travels through your nose, throat, chest, ribs, belly. Breathe out from belly, through ribs, chest, throat, nose. Picture its descent as it moves down the central column of your spine, down to the pit of your belly, and even deeper towards the pelvis, and its steady ascent as you breathe out, warming you throughout. Feel the breath supporting you, holding you aloft. Begin to notice those small beats of time at the edge of each breath in and each breath out. The spaces between, where time stands still for an instant.
Notice the end of your exhale as the space within your lungs finds the same pressure as the air outside your body. And without effort, the air rushes in. Your body doing all the work for you. Explore what it does with a sense of ease and wonder. Imagine your whole body is breathing. Breath by breath. Moment by moment. The abdomen rising and falling. In and out, like waves. With each inhale, Sense the heart lifting, porous, receptive. With every out-breath, feel the heart soften a little. Let it melt and open. You may notice sensations or emotions or hidden thoughts rising up to the surface. Let them pour out of you with every soft exhale. Let them dissolve. A sense of release and letting go. Allow the breath to heal you. Drink it in like nectar. Let it wash over you. This life, your engine. Let it saturate the body with its warmth and energy. Feel the current of each wave calm and soothe and soften you. Breath by breath. Moment by moment. Just watch. When you open your eyes, retain that sense of ease and wonder as you look at the world around you. Marvel at its color and sound and vibrancy. Feel the thrum of life. Take in the beating heart of the world around you. See it breathe. See life. As you'll no doubt have read or been told, a regular mindfulness practice helps to generate space in the mind and gives you a better perspective on life and its predicaments. We're told to slow down our thoughts to help with focus and concentration and to aid us in leading a happier, calmer life. You might find, however, especially if you're new to this practice, that it doesn't come so easily. That when you finally give yourself some time to actually do it, the opposite happens. It's hard to clear our minds of the incessant chatter. Thoughts race at you like cars on a busy street. 
can you empty your mind of all your worries and tasks? The moment you sit down, that nagging to-do list starts tugging at you. Unanswered messages and emails, things you must buy or mend, forms to fill in, bills to pay, people you have to speak to, or dates you haven't put in the diary and mustn't forget. If there's a pile of stuff bothering you, why not take a moment to scribble everything down on a piece of paper? Not in any order. Just as they come to you. Give yourself a minute of brain scribble. Get it all out. Then you don't have to worry about remembering it. You can let it go for now, until you have time to address it fully. Once that's done, place that piece of paper with all your niggles somewhere out of reach and settle yourself in a comfortable but alert position. We can't always take ourselves out of our chaotic surroundings physically. But we can with our minds. Close your eyes. And let your imagination take you away from your current setting. Envisage yourself sitting at the top of a mountain, surveying the spectacular vastness in front of you. The air feels clean and pure. And you breathe it in deeply. The mountain's edge dramatically drops to rocky cliffs. And below that, steep, green, fertile terraces, interlaced with a winding, shimmering river. At the top of your view are the clouds, softly drifting across the horizon. Take in the expanse of space in front of you. Inhale its peacefulness. You sit as high as the clouds. Higher than the birds. Far, far below you. See the gentle, slow, meandering movement of life. A solitary man and his donkey journeying their way across the mountain terrain. A lone, distant bus on a faraway, single-track road. So small and yet so detailed. Life continues below you. Like ants, they scuttle and snake across the vista. And yet, here you sit. In this silence. Above it all. In this quiet place. in the midst of nature and beauty, with no demands of you.
Your mind may continue to wonder, thinking and planning, dreaming and remembering. You are not your thoughts. As your thoughts arise, see them in your mind's eye. Place each one physically inside a clear bubble and simply blow it towards the clouds. Watch it float away. Let it shrink as it drifts further and further until pop. It's gone. And the next thought. Let that do the same. Blow the bubbles of thoughts away. Let them sail away. So you don't have to think about them at all right now. They just pop into nothing. And are gone. You are not your thoughts. Picture your mind pouring out all its worries, all its secrets, all its troubles. Feel the pressure dropping as they float away. Feel the tension in your shoulders melting into nothing. And sit with this feeling, this happy release of tension, this letting go. Have a sense of lightness as your thoughts evaporate. There is nothing to do. But watch and breathe. Sit quietly. Take a moment to acknowledge how good it is that you've given yourself this piece of time. It's important. It's your gift to yourself. Thank yourself for dedicating some time to calm your mind. To take stock. Have a sense of your innate brilliance, your innate wisdom, just for knowing you need this, whatever that means to you. Ultimately, connecting to yourself is the first step to connecting with others. With that in mind, this last track is dedicated to a sense of appreciation for who we are, what we're capable of, and for all of those around us who share our planet, inhabit our space and our lives. 
I'd like you to think of someone or some situation or moment that you have gratitude for. Taking yourself out of your own situation and finding an awareness and understanding of others in this way can heal the heart and cultivate awareness. Allowing you to be open to future possibilities. Future love. Perhaps come up with a few short words or a sentence that means something to you. A simple one could be, I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for my family. And keep repeating this, or whatever you've come up with in your mind, or say it out loud if you wish. In a few moments, the music will play for a time during which you simply repeat your words or phrase and allow yourself to be lulled by the repetition, by the rhythm. Let yourself be taken into a trance-like state. Let the world around you hush. This is a form of self-hypnosis which allows you to access your intuitive mind, the pure and calm and steady mind that's there underneath all the internal and external chatter. I am grateful. Check in with the reality of this moment. Remind yourself of how small you are within the context of the wider world. It can be a great comfort to know that we don't have to be center stage, but part of something that is greater than ourselves. Imagine planet Earth in your mind and zoom out, seeing yourself as being small as an ant, a minuscule but vital part of this beautiful world. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. Life is fleeting. Treasure each moment. Be present in each moment. How wonderful that all these trillion microorganisms have randomly fused together to make you alive. Living, breathing, speaking, fighting, singing, dancing, loving. What a miracle it is, this life.
We owe it to ourselves and to all that surround us to live our momentary lives in full awareness. Receptive each moment. Open and aware. Sharing and loving. Full of appreciation. For life and all that it brings you.